Denny 62 collaboration uh, comprises about 150 physicists and about uh, 20 institutes all over Europe, but also outside Europe in the United States and Russia and other countries. It's an immensely exciting experiment to do. It's at the cutting edge, the forefront of physics. We're looking for potential new physics amplitudes up to a mass scale of 10 TeV, which is higher than the CERN LHC can go for. The scientific motivation of NACE 62 is to look for physics which has not been detected up to now. And in order to do that, we are trying to detect the K plus meson which decays in pion and tunnel free nodes. This is a very rare process, and the probability that it has happened is 1 over 10 billions. This very, very rare decay is one of the few ways open to us to actually challenge the standard model of particle physics. There are two ways of trying to understand the fabric of nature. One way is to smash protons together at the highest possible energies. The other way is to look at quantum fluctuations. The K plus to pi plus neutrino antineutrino decay, which is the main goal of NA62, allows us to study these quantum fluctuations, these quantum loops, in a very controlled way. The quantum loop has an advantage over direct searches and the advantage is that not only the well-known particles contribute to it but also those particles out there that we know nothing about. So the known particles give us a, a well precise prediction and uh, if we measure something which differs from that then we have a hint of new physics. Think of it a little bit like fishing out on the sea. You know you, you, you don't know where the fish are and uh, where do you cast your line? Um, where you'd look, if you could, if the sea were absolutely flat as a pancake, you'd look for ripples caused by the fish. And we're trying to do exactly the same thing. We're looking somewhere where a new form of interaction, something beyond the standard model, might show itself. So how does it work? First of all, we have to collect a huge amount of kaon decays. And to do so, we use the protons from the SPS. Then these kaons enter a decay tank surrounded by many detectors and every detector has to work perfectly well in order to achieve our goal. Coordinating the installation of NA62 is a, is a very challenging job because it's a big detector, it's about 270 meters long altogether and the elements are made in uh, all the different institutes it comprised the collaboration, so basically in 20 different places all over the world. And coordinating that is obviously uh, more challenging than if you would have things all together in, this, in the same place. The meeting we're holding now is just one example of where we get together, we discuss common problems, we uh, exchange resources, and we put together solutions to the problems that various parts of the collaboration come up with. I'm currently on leave in CERN working on the NA62 experiment and part of the UK group, which is Liverpool, Bristol and Birmingham, our role in this detector is to detect the kaons, the charged kaons, as they come down the beam line. Now there are a lot of them. We have 800 megahertz, 800 million charged particles per second, of which only 6% are chaos. The experiment will be up and running in autumn 2014. And until then, we have to complete the full installation and each system that is being installed, uh, once the, the, the chamber is installed, it has to be cabled up. That's usually quite a lot of work. Then uh, cooling systems, services, gas systems have to be connected and tested one by one. After years of construction, now everything is coming together, the electronics is coming together, the software is coming together, and the students are getting the physics program ready. And soon we will be ready in order to ask our questions to nature.